Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay tituro ko sa inyo ang properties of special parallelograms. So kung gusto nyo ito ang matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang properties of special parallelograms. Particularly, ang rectangle, rhombus, at square. So, meron na akong previous videos about introduction to quadrilaterals as well as yung properties of parallelograms. So, kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, isilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Kasi gagamitin din natin yung mga concepts na yun dito sa topic natin ngayon na properties of special parallelograms. Okay? So, dito nga sa special parallelograms, meron tayong tatlong i-consider na quadrilaterals. Yung rectangle, rhombus, at square. So, lahat sila is considered na parallelograms. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin yung characteristics nitong tatlo. So, mag-start tayo sa rectangle. So, ano ba ang rectangle? A parallelogram with opposite sides congruent and all consecutive angles are perpendicular. So, lagi sa definition nila, Parallelogram daw sila kasi meron silang definition na pair of opposite sides parallel. So, therefore, in this figure, yung quadrilateral ABCD, so it is a rectangle kasi AB is parallel to DC, AB parallel to DC, and AD parallel to BC. Okay? And then, yung opposite sides then ay congruent. So, AB is congruent to DC, okay? And AD is congruent to BC. Okay? And then, all consecutive angles are perpendicular. So, ito yung unique characteristic ng rectangle sa parallelogram. So, consecutive angles are perpendicular. So, therefore, lahat ng angles na to, yung apat, consecutive sila, right? Pareho silang 90 degrees or perpendicular. Okay, so ito yung katangian ng rectangle. So, meron pa tayong properties ng rectangle. So, we have opposite sides are parallel. So, given na nga yun, right? This one. And then, opposite sides are congruent. So, given uli by these expressions. And then, opposite angles are congruent. So, therefore, angle D is congruent to angle B. And angle A is congruent to angle C. Kasi opposite sides daw ay congruent. At it makes sense kasi pare-pareho naman silang 90 degree. So, equal nga sila. Okay? Next, consecutive angles are supplementary. So, therefore, measure of angle A plus measure of angle D is equal to 180 degree. So, lahat ng consecutive ililist natin. Consecutive angles. Measure of angle D plus measure of angle C equals 180 degree. Measure of angle C plus measure of angle B equals 180 degree. And measure of angle B plus measure of angle A equals 180 degree. So, yung mga magkakasunod daw na angles. Which makes sense ulit kasi lahat naman sila is 90, right? So, 90 plus 90 is always 180. Okay? Next, all angles are right angles. So, by definition then, lahat daw ng interior angles ng rectangle is 90 degree or right angles. Next, diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. So, pag dinro natin yung diagonals nitong rectangle ABCD, sa so meron tayong dalawa, right? Let's say, nag intersect at O. So, nagbabisect sila sa isa't isa. So, therefore, AO is congruent to CO. This length and DO is congruent to BO. This length. And another unique property ng diagonals ng rectangle is daw congruent sila. So, therefore, AC is congruent to BD. So, makapansin nyo, ang unique na karakteristik ng rectangle compared sa parallelogram, kasi As lahat naman ng first 1, 2, 3, 4 ay karakteristik ng parallelogram, right? So, itong unique is yung right angles, yung lahat ng interior angles niya, at yung diagonals ay hindi lang nagbabisect but also congruent din. So, ito yung properties ng rectangle. Next, let's have the rhombus. So, a rhombus is a parallelogram with all sides are congruent. Okay, so another type ulit ng parallelogram. 
So, meaning given this quadrilateral ABCD, which is a rhombus, sa so, dal parallelogram siya, by definition, dapat opposite sides are parallel. So, AB should be parallel to DC, so these segments, and AD should be parallel to BC, these segments. Okay? And then, another definition is all sides daw are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng sides natin is congruent. So, therefore, AB is congruent to BC, is congruent to DC, is congruent to AD. So, lahat ng four sides. Okay? So, maliban dito is meron pa tayong properties ng rhombus. So, una is opposite sides are parallel. Okay? So, given by these expressions. All sides are congruent. So, given by these expressions. Opposite angles are congruent. So, meaning meron tayong angle D congruent to angle B. So, this angle D congruent to angle B. And angle A congruent to angle C. So, this angle A congruent to angle C. So, just like the property of parallelograms, right? Next, consecutive angles are supplementary. Okay, so just like then sa properties ng parallelogram, consecutive angles supplementary. So, meaning measure of angle A plus measure of angle D equals 180 degree. Measure of angle D plus measure of angle C equals 180 degree. Measure of angle C plus measure of angle B equals 180 degree. And measure of angle B plus measure of angle A equals 180 degree. Okay? Next, all angles are right angles. Ah, sorry. This is not a property of a rhombus. So, property yon ng rectangle. So, nagkamali ako ng sinulat. Kasi not necessarily na sa rhombus, yung lahat ng interior angles natin is 90 degree. Okay? So, this should be fifth property. Next, diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular. Okay? So, kung i-drawly natin yung diagonals, let's say AC and BD intersecting at O, we have they bisect each other. AO is congruent to CO. So, this length and DO is congruent to BO. This length, right? And one unique characteristic of diagonals is perpendicular sila. So, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang diagonals natin, AC and BD, nagpo-form ng apat na right angles. Okay? So, makabuo tayo ng apat na right triangles. Okay? So, Base dito sa properties ng rhombus, ang unique property niya compared sa parallelogram is all sides are congruent and maliban sa nagbabaysak yung diagonal sa each other, perpendicular din sila. Okay? Lastly, we have the square. So, a square is a parallelogram with all sides congruent and all are right angles. Okay, so yung square yung parang consider natin as the universal parallelogram. Kasi meron siyang karakteristik ng rectangle tsaka rhombus. So, parallelogram siya. So, meaning in this quadrilateral ABCD which is a square. So, dapat opposite sides are parallel. So, AB parallel to CD. So, these segments. And AC parallel to BD. These segments. Okay? Then, dapat din daw, all sides are congruent. So, just like rhombus, right? So, therefore, AB is congruent to BD, is congruent to CD, is congruent to AC. So, itong apat na sides. And then, all angles are right angles. So, therefore, measure of angle A equals measure of angle B equals measure of angle C equals measure of angle D. Lahat is 90 degree. So, meron tayong 90 degrees sa lahat ng interior angles. Okay? So, aside dito, meron pang properties yung square na sa so sabi opposite sides are parallel. So, given by these expressions, all sides are congruent. Given by these expressions, opposite angles are congruent. So, therefore, measure of angle C is equal to measure of angle B. So, these two angles. And measure of angle A equals measure of angle D these two angles. Kasi nga, 90 degrees sila lahat. So, equal sila. Next, consecutive angles are supplementary. So, therefore, measure of angle A plus measure of angle C equals 180 degree. Measure of angle C plus measure of angle D equals 180 degree. 
Measure of angle D plus measure of angle B equals 180 degree. Measure of angle B plus measure of angle A equals 180 degree. So, consecutive angles are supplementary. Ibig sabihin sa amin is 180, which makes sense kasi lahat naman sila is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. Okay? Next, all angles are right angles. So, given by these expressions, right? Then, diagonals bisect each other, congruent, and are perpendicular. Okay, so maraming characteristics yung diagonals ng square. So, pag dinara natin yung dalawang diagonals, AD and BC, let's say intersecting ito, unang-una, they bisect each other, right? So, therefore, AO is congruent to DO, these segments. What else? CO is congruent to BO, these segments. Okay? Then, congruent din daw sila. So, mismong itong diagonal AD tsaka BC is congruent. So, AD is congruent to BC. Right? Congruent yung dalawang diagonals na to. And then, last, perpendicular din. So, just like sa rhombus, makakabuo tayo ng apat na right angles doon sa ating perpendicular diagonals. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, Lahat ng properties ng parallelogram is nandito sa square. And yung special sa kanya is, so all sides are congruent, all angles are right angles, then the diagonals bisect each other, then maliban doon, congruent and perpendicular din. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung properties ng different special parallelograms like rectangle, square, at rhombus, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. Solve the value of the diagonals of the rectangle ABCD. Okay, so hanapin daw natin yung length ng diagonals nitong rectangle ABCD. So, meron tayong side AD equal to 2 and then meron tayong side DC equal to 5. So, by properties of rectangle, so dapat opposite sides are congruent. So, BC should also be 2 and AB should also be 5. So, draw natin yung diagonal AC muna. So, dahil nga yung ating rectangle is yung lahat ng interior angles is 90 degree, mapansin nyo, makakabuo tayo ng right triangle A, D, C, right? So, given bale yung legs niya na 2, which is yung AD, tapos yung isa pang leg na DC, which is 5. Kasi ito yung 90 degree, right? And then yung diagonal yung mag act as the hypotenuse. So, using Pythagorean theorem, pwede nating masolve yung diagonal. So, we have sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Pythagorean theorem, right? So, AD square plus TC square equals AC square. So, substitute natin. So, AD is 2. So, 2 square plus TC is 5. DC square. So, 5 square equals AC square unknown. So, therefore, 2 square is 4 plus 5 square is 25 equals AC square. 4 plus 25 is 29 equals AC square. Square root both sides. So, we have square root of 29 equal to AC. So, ito yung length ng diagonal AC. Then, para naman makuha natin yung diagonal DB, so, meron tayong property, right, ng diagonals ng rectangle na congruent sila. So, therefore, kung ano yung diagonal easy natin, square root of 29, right? Dapat yun din si diagonal DB. Square root of 29. Kasi pwede nyo rin kuhain yung uh, diagonal BD by applying Pythagorean theorem din dito sa triangle BCD. Which obviously, same leg sila na 2 tsaka 5. So, same lang din yung makukuha yung diagonal BD. Okay? Next, we have find the length of the side of the rhombus ABCD. Okay, so meron tayong rhombus ABCD at meron tayong nakadraw na diagonals AC and DB, right? nag intersect at point o. So, ang given is itong length ng AO na 7 tapos itong length ng DO na 8. So, hanapin daw natin yung length of the side. So, equal naman lahat ng length ng side ng rhombus, right? Property nyo yun, right? So, therefore... Kuhain natin yung kahit anong length ng side. Pwedeng A, B, B, C, D, C, or A, D. So, paano? So, base dun sa given natin, yung length 7, tsaka length 8, kasi meron tayong property ng rhombus na yung diagonals niya is perpendicular sa isa't isa, right? So, makakabuo tayo ng apat na right angles dito. 
So, kung consider natin itong triangle AOD sa dispersion, so, pwedeng maging leg itong 7, tsaka itong 8, then, makukuha natin itong hypotenuse AD, right? Which is yung side na yon nung rhombus. So, pwede natin i-apply yung Pythagorean theorem ulit. So, we have AO square plus DO square is equal to AD square. Substitute, AO is 7, so 7 square plus DO is 8, so 8 square equals AD square. So, unknown si AD. So, we have 7 square is 49 plus 8 square is 64, right? Equals AD square. So, 49 plus 64 is 113 equals AD square. So, square root both sides. We have square root of 113 equals AD. So, therefore, ito yung length nung side nung rhombus natin. So, AD is square root of 113. Then, dahil congruent naman lahat nung sides, so AB is square root of 113, BC is square root of 113, and DC is square root of 113. Okay? Next, we have find the length of the side of square ABCD. Okay, so this time, meron naman tayong square ABCD. Hanapin daw natin yung length ng side. So, ang given lang is yung length ng diagonal AD. Right? Which is 25. So, para natin isasolve. So, alam natin na property ng square is lahat ng kanyang sides is congruent or equal. So, AC equal to AB equal to BD equal to CD. So, let's say gawin natin X na lang yung value na yun. Para para sila right? kasi congruent. So, given yung diagonal natin na AD 25. So, pag kinonsider natin yung triangle, ito, ACD. So, remember na yung angle natin sa square is lahat 90 degree, right? So, using this right triangle, ACD, with legs unknown X, so AC and CD, at yung hypotenuse na 25, by Pythagorean theorem, pwede natin masolve yung X, right? So, we have AC square plus CD square is equal to AD square. So, AC is X, so X square plus CD is X, so X square ulit, equals AD square. So, given yon right? Yung AD is 25. So, 25 square. So, X square plus X square is 2X square, equals, ano yung 25 square? 625. And then, divide both sides by 2. So, X square is equal to 625 over 2. Then, square root natin both sides. So, X is equal to... Square root of 625 over uh, square root of 2. So, pwede natin gawing square root of 625 over square root of 2. So, square root of 625 is 25, right? Over square root of 2. Rationalize natin. Multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 2. So, 25 is square root of 2 over 2. So, therefore, this is the length ng side ng ating square. So, lahat sila is... 25 square root of 2 over 2. So, x is 25 square root of 2 over 2. So, lahat ng sides natin. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Properties of special parallelograms like rectangles, squares, and rhombus. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa paninood.